Tonight is an evening of documentary film. And I, this semester, taught two classes. Uh, one documentary production for majors, for media and communication majors. The other one was actually a core 4990 class, which is a required core class for everyone in the school um, where they do something uh, interfacing with the community. And there's lots of different topics, lots of different ways to approach that, and mine was to make documentary films. We have a big variety. We have a film on reproductive right access in Rochester. We have a film on the legalization of marijuana. Another uh, just sort of like being a student post-COVID. One film on the sneaker industry. One really very sweet film about basically people who emigrated to Rochester from the South. What was interesting in both classes uh, was the idea of documentary. Not everyone has watched that many documentaries, and if they have, it's been, you know, PBS you know, episode of Nova or something like that, where it's a very certain style. And so one of the things that I did in both classes, where this wasn't a film studies class, we couldn't spend a huge amount of time just watching film after film, but I did not only show them films, but I purposely picked short films to say like, okay, here was a very simple 10 minute film about one individual. Why did we find it fascinating? One of the th ideas we talked about is, yes, these films are based around things going on in Rochester, but what will make some of these films even more interesting is that they can pert pertain to any city. That we're making films that have bigger themes um, and we're using just Rochester as the location in this case. And sort of those sort of steps of thinking more broadly, uh, uh, I think were very important in sort of people, again, thinking about um, what is an important story to tell.